Hey everyone, Xanagear here. If you've ever wanted to practice, test theories, mod the visuals of your game, or just straight up cheat, then this is the guide for you. Before we get to the guide, make sure to come follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I'll be suffering through the cosmic ocean for forever, I guess. Please help me. Small disclaimer that none of the tools or programs I will be teaching you about were developed by Blitworks, and they are in no way associated with the developers of Spelunky 2. So don't get mad if something breaks, please. Every subsequent patch will likely also break your mods, so make sure you are aware of that when a new patch releases. I'm going to be starting with the cheat slash practice tool over Lunky, which you will download at the link in the description below. Unzip the Overlunky zip and put it somewhere on your PC. Doesn't matter where. Run the executable and then open Spelunky 2. It's really as simple as that and it is an incredibly useful tool. You can type into the search box in the entity spawner to spawn nearly anything in the game, from enemies to bombs, even the Ankh. You can use the door to anywhere box to warp to any level in the game. I like to use this to practice chill and skip, but you can also use it for Cosmic Ocean, Olmec, or anything else. If you're going to practice Olmec, which I'm sure many of you will, then you'll want to warp to 2-4 and move to 3-1 yourself, or just bomb your way up with some stickies and a jetpack from the 3-1 warp. I think this tool is really excellent, and I hope it helps you all get some practice in, or just have some fun messing around. For the next part of the guide, I'm going to show you how to modify the game itself, allowing you to add custom level or character textures. To start, you'll want to back up your Spelunky 2 install, or at least your save file in case you manage to break it when unpacking and repacking. Right-click Spelunky 2 on Steam and click Manage and Browse Local Files if you're unsure of where Spelunky 2 is installed. Next, go to the link in the description below and download modlunky2.exe, placing it in your install directory. Once you run it, you will find a link you need to copy and paste in your browser. Check the circle next to spell2.exe and click extract to start unpacking your install. This will take a few moments and once done, you will have a new folder called mods which you will use to repack your game in a little bit. You can go to spelunky.fyi to download some of the user-made stuff out there, or make your own using your own image editor. I personally opted to download the Eggplant Child. There is currently no way to add further characters to the game unfortunately, so you can see I renamed it char underscore black dot png to match the file name used for Rafi. You're going to place that renamed PNG into the override folder in your Spelunky 2 directory. Once all that is done, head back to the asset management link from before and just click repack. Once the repacking is done, you can boot up the game and find your character or whatever mod you installed functioning. This guide will likely evolve over time, so if you're finding this later on and none of this works, then please look for a newer video on my channel. Please like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video.